Today's question, can I be lean and healthy and drink alcohol? The quick answer to that is yes, of course you can. The reason that alcohol is demonized um, or removed from diets from people uh, when they're trying to get very lean is very, very simple. When you're trying to get super lean, so let's say you're a pro bodybuilder or you're doing a movie and you've got to get super lean to look incredible for that one, that one picture, one photo, one stage pose, you're trying to cut out as much excess needless calories as you can. And alcohol is an absolute needless, non-necessity non calories for most people. You know, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's for enjoyment usually and all that kind of jazz. But when you're trying to diet and lose weight and get like absolutely to the lowest body fat possible, you're cutting out all food sources that basically are in protein, you know, and, uh, and vegetables. So alcohol is one of the easy ones to cut. All right, so that's why you'll see a lot of people removing from diets. Now, there, there are other reasons as well, but you can still be very healthy, very lean, and enjoy alcohol, you know, within reason. And, you know, you can still have very good performance as well and enjoy alcohol within reason. Now, let's be realistic, okay? The reason alcohol is, is, is um, taken out of people's diets, particularly when they're training or sports or trying to diet, is two reasons. One is calories. Alcohol is very high in calories and very easy to consume, as we all well know, overconsume particularly. For example, a bottle of wine might have anywhere from 600 to 800 calories, while four pints might have anywhere from 800 calories to 1,200 calories, depending on which alcoholic beverage you're imbibing. So there's, there's that issue, is that literally alcohol is very calorie dense, very easy to consume, and because of that, you're gonna go, you might go over your calories, so it might hamper your weight loss as well. The other two factors in regards to training and performance is alcohol affects your sleep. So if you're drinking a lot before you go to bed, you won't get as good night's sleep as someone who didn't drink alcohol and goes to bed at the same time and gets the same hour of sleep. You just, it, your, your body has to process the alcohol and it does affect your sleep patterns. So that's why people are generally told don't drink lots of alcohol when you're you know, in a sport that's performance based. And this, the third reason, and this is a very simple reason, is hangovers. If you drink a lot of alcohol, you're more likely to be hungover. And being hungover affects your training performance or sports performance the next day. So you coming to the gym being hungover, you're not gonna perform as well as someone who didn't drink, you know, as yourself if you weren't hungover. Similarly, if you're playing a sport and you're hungover, you're not gonna perform as well if you weren't hungover. So that's the general factors. The last asterisk one I'll put in as well is, People who tend to drink alcohol tend to drink it late at night and alcohol generally encourages bad decisions and generally if you have junk food in the house, you'll eat more junk food as well and that will also cause you to eat more calories, okay? And again, if you're trying to lose weight, that is not what you want. So that's generally the problem with alcohol is that it's affects your decision making, it's quite high in calories and the hangover affects, uh, can affect your sleep and the hangover can generally uh, affect your training performance. But if you drink alcohol within reason and sensibly and all that jazz, one glass of wine here, two glass of wine, or you know, one or two pints every once in a while, that is not going to affect your diet that much or your performance that much. Going to dog in it will though. So there you go. Uh, alcohol, yeah, you can have it and be lean and healthy and have a social life and um, you do too much of it and you probably will have neither. Anyway, hope that helps guys. And if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And as always, we'll talk to you later. Cheers.